Yo, 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 what's good, fam? Welcome to PNP. It's your boy Rashad, one half of PNP, and today we have another entry into the Sign or Walk series. This time we got Marquise Haynes. Okay, Marquise Haynes. Now, before we get into this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, get in the comments, let me know what's good. We're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers. We're about 500 people away, so let's make that thing happen. Now, without further ado, let's get into the Sign or Walk, Marquise Haynes. All right. So again, if you're new to this, we go through five different categories, age, position of value, durability, asking price, and whether a player's production is replaceable or not, okay? So we're gonna go through those, but before we get into this, I wanna give you a little bit of history of Marquise Haynes and his time with the Carolina Panthers, okay? Um, now Marquise Haynes was, was drafted in the fourth round, and we actually traded up to get him um, out of Ole Miss. Now a few things, going back to Ole Miss that kind of rung a bell with me. Uh, he broke Greg Hardy's school record. We all know who Greg Hardy is. Uh, he broke his school record for sacks of 32. He also broke a school record for uh, tackles for loss with 47.5, okay? Um, the dude showed off a crazy athleticism and was a beast, okay? He was a beast. Keep in mind, he was drafted under the Ron Rivera regime, okay? So Matt Rule, new coach, different system i think i think what happened with marquise was that he got a little lost in the sauce okay i think that you know when he was drafted i believe at the time he was drafted we were in a 4-3 defense and then ron Rivera was asked to switch to a 3-4 defense which i think helped marquise out a little bit because he was able to use his um his speed to get off the edge i think it was a bet a, a better situation for him so i think he got a little lost in the sauce um you know given with the 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 coaching changes, the scheme changes, all this stuff, Marquise, in my opinion, got lost in the sauce. Now, I will say this, couple things here. Marquise did have his best season from a PFF grade standpoint this season. He graded out a 71.3, which is really good. Um, so he had 11 total pressures, three sacks, three hits, uh, five hurries, and had a really good year. Going back to 2020, um, he had four sacks, 15 total pressures. Now, I will say he had, a, he had a great year last year coming in, in rotation. And one thing that is kind of frustrating, and I, and I get on his side, because he, he tweeted this out yesterday. He said, I may not have the stats I wanted, but I but my play and effort speaks for itself. And I think that's that can be really frustrating for a player, because if you look at his time, look at let's look at the snap counts for a second. In 2018, his rookie season, he played 46 snaps. In 2019, he played tw uh, 210 snaps. In 2020, he played 390 snaps, and then in 2020, uh, 2021, he played 222 snaps. Like, I'm not getting the opportunity, but when I am getting the opportunity, he's making the best of it. And so, um, I, I agree with what he's saying. He he made the best of the opportunity when he got on the field, all right? Now, let's go ahead. We've kind of given the history. We've talked about him. Let's go ahead and get into these different categories. So, I lumped two together on this one, but age... He checks that box, bro. He's only 28 years old, so he's still in his prime. He's got plenty of plenty of uh, tread on the tire, so we're good there. Position of value, yes, we talked about edge rushers being valuable positions. When you're affecting the quarterback, when you're getting after the quarterback, that is a position of value. Durability, uh, there's no durability concerns there. I don't think there's any major injuries for him, so he's durable, can play when available, so no issues there. Asking price, I mean, based on the production, I don't think there's a, a situation where, you know, he's going to get paid a ton of money. So we're not, he's not going to be knocking the, you know, asking, pulling up the Brinks truck. All right. So, of course, he's going to get a raise off of his rookie contract, but I don't think it's going to be a, a tremendous amount of money uh, for the Panthers to pay him, especially they plan to keep him in a rotational uh, role. Now, is his production replaceable? I believe so, given the um, rotational role uh, that he's been playing and given the fact that he's 6'2", 235 pounds, I believe that what Scott Fitter and what Matt Rule have said, we need to get bigger on the edges. I believe they are going to um, you know, try to, to, to maybe draft an edge rusher or maybe pick up another edge rusher in free agency to kind of help with the, 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 the run defense. Uh, although he's been fine, he was he actually graded out as a 70.2 uh, against the run. So run defense has not been an issue for him when he was on the field. However, given what they've been saying, um, that you know they may decide to get beefier on the edges. So it, it is what it is there. But but I do think 
I do think that when Marquise Haynes was given the opportunity, he made the best of it. And I do think, you know, the, the rotational edge rusher is something you need. You look at guys like Mario Addison, right? Look at guys like Mario Addison who are undersized as well, right? Mario Addison carved out a name for himself and got paid by Buffalo. All right. So, and I, I think that Marquise Haynes can provide that if given the opportunity. He's got to get the field, get on the field more. So for that, I mean, I, I think personally, the Carolina Panthers should try and re-sign him if he doesn't price himself out, right? He could, you know, price himself out. Some scout could say, hey, we, we like what we saw in Marquise and we're going to pay him a little bit more than the Carolina Panthers are willing to pay him. But in my opinion, like I said, I think that that rotational role, he can absolutely um, be and, and provide some some spark. And I think you 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 got to have those rotational edge rushes. So in my opinion, we should try to re-sign him. And again, for those other factors, I think the Panthers may decide to move on, trying to get beefy on the edges, and another another team kind of may move on, so or, or may decide to, to move on them. So that being said, man, that's my thoughts on Marquise Haynes. Uh, let me know what y'all think. You know, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, get in the comments. Let me know what's good. I'm out.